In this video, I want to profile a character in the movie Limitless who takes a drug called NZT, which gives him the ability to fully utilize his brain and make millions day trading the stock market. I'm going to share with you some ideas that you can take from the movie and apply it to your own trading. And I do want to be clear, it's not to get you to take drugs. Hey traders, Mike Sir here. For those who haven't watched the movie Limitless, please note my spoiler alerts. Now Limitless is one of my favorite movies mainly because it follows a struggling writer named Eddie Mora who turns his life around when he discovers the drug NZT which helps him gain perfect recall and allows him to analyze minute details and information at incredible speed. The power of the drug transforms his life allowing him to finish writing his book, make well over $2 million day trading the stock market, and lead him to work for a finance tycoon. But later on in the movie, we realize that it's not just the drug that is the sole reason for his success. And I'll outline the lessons that you can learn from Eddie in this video. When your mind is clear of distractions, you can see stock price movements much clearer you can identify opportunities in the markets and be able to capitalize on them. Before I talk about the next lesson, please take a moment to like this video. I would really appreciate your support. Why are you buying that? The CEO was just indicted. So not for the big fat defense contract he bribed his way into. That's still on. Should be announced next week. Whenever everyone thinks of the bad news in a particular stock, there can still be potential profits made if you dig deeper into the fundamentals of a company. And this is why sometimes you don't want to follow the herd. Now, if too many people like a stock, you should possibly maybe step away. If too many people hate a stock, then maybe you should consider buying. Why do I give you $100,000? Because I quintupled my money four days in a row. So you got a fix in the game. No. Not a fix. I was able to calculate certain patterns using algorithms. If you look at column four, this was the first. In order to make consistent profits in the markets, you need to find your edge. In trader terms, it means you have a technique, strategy, or observation of something that gives you an advantage over other traders. Armed with Vern's last $800, I made 2000 in a day. Next day, 7,500. It was too slow. I need more capital. If you have a winning strategy, then you should not hesitate or be scared of trading with more capital or trading with bigger positions. When the stock market is agreeing with you, then you should size up and play bigger. It's a saying, when you win, you gotta win big. When you lose, you lose small. My new friend, Kevin Doyle, showed me how you could leverage two and a half times your cash at a day trading firm. Most successful day traders utilize leverage to make big profits in the markets. And this is why sometimes you can see day traders making $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, or even $100,000 in a day. And it's not because they have a lot of money to play with but it's mainly because they are borrowing money from the broker to play with bigger capital. I was jacked in, booted up. At the end of the week, my brokerage account contained over $2 million. When you're in the trader zone and trades are working very, very well for you, this is the time to make as much money as possible because you are on a winning streak. Now, when the streak ends, and I can guarantee you it will end, then you won't be making the same amount of money or perhaps actually lose money. Then you'll have to stop trading. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch other videos where I analyze my favorite Wall Street movies, please click on the left for more videos and click on the right for the full playlist. Also, if you wouldn't mind, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button to watch more videos like this and hit the notification button so you'll be notified of future videos. See you in the next video.